It would be a great drinking game if you took a shot for every trope that they mentioned. Let's get reviewing. We might as well start at the top and the greatest uh, Netflix movie of this year. Interceptor. Oh, Raptor. Boy. Yep. Inter Raptor. Raptor. Look, with Elsa Patek. Patekay? Patekay? Oh my Shit. god. Honestly, I would have liked it better if there was a raptor that was doing it. Oh my god. You replace her with a raptor? Solid gold. Oh my gosh. She, a raptor would be more attractive than her. Solid gold. She's not. How they took a girl who. I, I, if, you, if you look at the thumbnail I did for this uh, particular episode, she's an attractive chick and they pulled out all the stops to make her look as ugly as humanly possible what a weird movie this was like next level stupid broken arrow but didn't understand how cheesy it was broken arrow at least understood the john travolta i think it's directed by john Woo. is it i don't know but it stars christian slater and, and john travolta great movie check it out hilarious it's one of those classics I would do a watch along with. Um, Interceptor, weird, mm, and in not as tongue in cheek funny. It should have been funnier. Like it should have known was, it was funny. It was funny. funny unintentionally. Like the effects were so bad. Anytime they showed the rockets, I'm like, what is this? Yeah, that was the weird. rockets were intense. So the only reason why this is. A movie is because she's married to Chris Hemsworth. Yep. And Chris Hemsworth is in it as a cameo. Extended cameo. Extended cameo. And he executive produced it. So they're like, we know you did extraction. We'd like five more of them. We'll give your wife a movie if you just shut up and do more extraction. That is true. It's like it's you know, <clears throat> if it's you a bribe. If you produce it. And you know what? Being an executive producer is just a bribe, right? Isn't that where you fund it? No. Uh, the producer gets the money for it, but an executive producer, producer is just someone attaching their name to it so they get a paycheck. It's like oh, a free really? paycheck. Yeah. Oh. So if you're the executive producer, it's like, hey, I'm associated with that product. Give me some money on the side. So you don't have to do anything. You do nothing. Damn. Maybe you show up. Maybe you don't. Like, you basically do nothing. Well, wow. that's why Steven Spielberg is the executive producer of so many things. He's like, yeah, I'm interested in that. I'll put my name on it. <laughs> and then he gets paid. So every Jurassic he World movie, he's the executive producer. Yes, because he has the original rights. Sometimes they even do it to pay off like Marvel directors. Like the dude who did uh, Doctor Strange, the original director who got fired. They're like, we're still going to pay you. Even though you didn't direct this, you'll be an executive producer. So they pay him. And then give them money anyway. So Hollywood secrets out there for you guys. Oh my God. Rotten Tomatoes has it at 44% on the critic score, 21% on the audience score. Wow. Critic consensus says Interceptor might spark a flicker of interest in viewers, jonesing for a no nonsense action thriller, but there's nothing here they haven't seen before. They've never seen a whammon beat men is, up go, like let's go this. to the reviews is anyone calling it out for being the woke it like if you're like what woke tropes can we do every single thing possible yes if you can name a woke trope it showed up look at that look at her as a blonde no she's attractive i'm not saying she's not attractive interceptor is a terrible horrible no good very bad movie it is it's as dull as watching Iced in fod while sober and as nuanced as a pantomime populated with ex neighbors stars. Okay, s sweetheart, I don't know what <laughs> you just wrote, but I'm whatever. She's not American. She can't read. Please do not waste your time. Now, I would disagree. If you enjoy wasting your time and you want to watch something that's mild, it's it's so bad it's kind of funny. Right? No, it was amusing. It's there was amusing. like some really dumb decisions, and I'm just like, okay, I'm laughing here. Yes, I thought it was kind of funny, and it was quick. It was short. Oh yeah, it's real fast. It's and a, it, it's and an it hour just it was like 38 minutes. Oh, you're on this random thing. Oh, everybody's starting to get murdered, and here we go. Like it, it moves pretty quickly. Although it, even though it's a quick movie, it does seem like it drags a little. <laughs> Freezes these balls just named himself as an executive producer. Ooh. 
freezing these balls just named himself an executive producer of our reviews will kill you jokes on you motherfucker we don't get any money that's right you can have exactly you can have 15 percent of the dogecoin that we don't own anymore yes. that is gone we have donated this speaking of better which, cost yes we have to talk about that uh it's fine it gets the job done but chuck norris would have had more fun with it i agree with that i it's i don't i, I can't recommend it but i can't not yes i agree it. i can't recommend it but i can't not recommend it like if you don't have anything else to do and you need to kill some time if you have a couple beers in you and you want to have some fun with watching a girl struggle with english and try to beat up the white man and you the, got it and if you are bleeding red for this country and you're like how do i trigger myself and listen to everything that's going to annoy me this movie's for you absolutely i forget what was the thing he said at the something end something about them being immigrants if it weren't for immigrants like you it was like they hit on immigrants they woman, he's a billionaire women, son you're a woman sexual I could assault do. oh my gosh white okay people. so you know how there's like show but don't tell in a script like especially in movies you no, they told show you. and not they tell. told you they show her sex <laughs> I know this is a spoiler, right? Which d doesn't matter because we're probably the only people who actually watch this, aside from a couple critics. They show her getting sexually like assaulted or whatever. It's just an ass. A grab. general's just like, I'm going down and in for that ass, and he ass grabs her, and then he strokes her cheek a little bit, and then what they do to her room, and then she continues to live in that room. Oh, kind of that's weird. right. Yeah. The what, what, what was the line trainer. like I came on your couch I came on your pillow and I'm coming for you <laughs> it, that's it's hilarious if you've ever seen the movie Hard Rain with Christian Slater and who's the voice of God from Seven uh, uh, Denzel Washington nope. no Morgan Freeman Morgan Freeman uh, if you've ever seen Hard Rain it's as funny as Hard Rain which is about like rainstorm that never ends it, 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 it's funny like that, but it doesn't know that it's funny, so it's it kind of misses the mark. I think that's where it is, because it should be funny, because clearly Chris Hemsworth in his like role it, thinks it's amusing, like he's trying to be ridiculous, right? It it would be a great drinking game if you took a shot for every trope that they mentioned for like wokeism. Oh, a Doc is recommending Adam, uh, Adam Sandler's new movie, Hustle, which is part of that Netflix deal of one million movies for one million dollars that Adam Sandler signed. I saw a trailer for it, and I was like, no, thank you. I do not care. I do not want to watch this. He's a basketballer. No, he's like a, a recruiting scout. Oh. I don't care. Why would I care? I don't know. Please, Doc, explain. Why would I care?